The Chevy truck is one of the most iconic vehicles in the United States. It has a very rich history and we're going to take a look at the history of the Chevy truck. It all began with Louis Chevrolet, who was a U.S. and Switzerland race car driver born and raised in La Chaux de Fonds, which is a center for engineering and watchmaking in Switzerland. He was a mechanic between 1895 and 1899 in Montreal, Canada, moving to Brooklyn, New York, where he worked for an engineering company. He began racing for Buick and was friends with GM founder William Durant. While working with Buick, he learned engineering of the automobile. In 1909, he designed and built an overhead cam six-cylinder engine in his own shop in Detroit, Michigan. Chevrolet built his very first car in 1913, which he called the Classic 6, or the Series C. It had a 299 cubic inch T-head inline six-cylinder, also referred to as an I-6 or L-6. The six-cylinder went for $2,500, today equal to $70,000 vehicle, compared to the Model T, which was going for only $500 at the time. The average household income back then was $1,500 per year. Needless to say, he didn't sell a lot of these. In 1915, he built the Chevy 490 and sold it for $490. Made 58,000 of these vehicles. Between 1914 and 1918, Ford was making trucks for the U.S. for World War I, called the Model TT, and had wild success. It was a great experiment with the truck concept. In 1918, Chevy 490 was used as a platform truck or a chassis vehicle allowing customers to build on it. It was a half-ton vehicle. Ultimately what you do is you just purchase the cab and the chassis and then you converted the back into some sort of truck or whatever it is you wanted. They also made an express body with eight posts and a convertible top. Also that year was the first official production truck which was the 1918 Chevy one ton. MSRP on this was 1325 for the chassis and the cab only then 1460 for the Express. Had 3.6 liter OHV four cylinder 224 cubic inch engine giving off 36 horsepower. By 1929 this changed completely into the International Series AC light delivery truck. Had 194 cubic inch 3.18 liter overhead valve six cylinder giving off 46 horsepower and 125 pounds of torque. This engine played a major role in the future of GM engines. They referred to this truck as the Stover Bolt 6. Had external head bolts that looked like cast iron wood stove bolts. It was a one ton model and a one and a half ton model. It was the first Chevy truck with a closed cab, as well as some bold new paint colors. In 1931, it became the first factory built truck with a chassis and cab decreasing prices to $300 throughout the depression. 600 for the sedan. 1937 brought about the first Chevy Suburban. Changes began again in 1938 with the Chevy Halfton. Designed by a newly established GM design department, took a further step with color creativity brought about by an art design department. It was voted the best looking truck of its time. MSRP was 592, had a 216.5 cubic inch 3.5 liter inline six, giving off 78 horsepower and 170 pounds of torque. This truck was wildly popular as the country was recovering from the Great Depression. When the U.S. entered World War II in December of 1941, it was January 1942 to August of 1945, Chevy didn't manufacture any publicly sold trucks, but they did produce a variety of war trucks until 1946. Early 1947, Chevy produced a series of light heavy-duty trucks for civilian sales. But by the end of 1947, and a whole new Chevy truck came out with the Chevrolet 3100 series. Very advanced design for its time. This post-war styling of rounded hood and fenders had a five-bar grill and it was the first true three-person seat. Had a 216.5 cubic inch, 3.5 liter inline six, giving off 78 horsepower and 170 pounds of torque. It was incredibly advanced for its time as having a dash radio as well as the first truck to have a fresh air and heater system with defrost. It's a 3100 half ton, a 3600 three quarter ton, and a 3800 one ton. By 1955, Chevrolet introduced a few new trucks. First was the 1955 Chevrolet 3124 series Cameo Carrier, as well as the all new Suburban, also referred to as the Task Force Generation. 
It had a 235 cubic inch 3.85 liter inline six, giving off 123 horsepower and 270 pounds of torque. MSRP on this truck was $2,000. Also in 1955, Chevy trucks were available with the 265 cubic inch overhead valve V8. This Cameo Carrier was initially only available in red and white two-tone. The Cameo Carrier was said to be the inspiration for the El Camino, the El Camino car truck concept, which was built between 1959 and 1960, and then they stopped production, began again in 1964, and continued all the way to 1987. However, the most famous Chevrolet that we know today began in 1967 with the Chevrolet CK10 series. C traditionally was a two-wheel drive, while the K was a four-wheel drive. Started off with a 292 cubic inch 4.79 liter inline six, giving off 153 horsepower and 255 pounds of torque. This truck added major comfort as a priority. It's an iconic design. The most collectible Chevy trucks of all time are these initial CK series, offered with a six cylinder, as well as a small and big block V8. 1969 was the introduction of the Chevy Blazer, known to be the true first SUV. The CK series transformed into the 70s with a 350 cubic inch. 1973, the C30 one-ton dually came around with a 5.7 liter V8 and 155 horsepower. A new concept in 1972 was introduced, the Chevy Love. By 1977, they came up with a luxury line of CK series trucks referred to as the Silverado, which also were made in C and K series. 1982 brought about the first Chevy small truck with the Chevy S10. Came with a 1.9 liter Isuzu four-cylinder. Along with this S10 came the S10 Blazer. Meanwhile, the El Camino was continuing until 1987. 1988 brought about the Chevrolet CK1500. Is the fourth generation of the CK series, also known as the GMT 400 platform. C10 was gone. The C1500, 2500, and 3500 were based on weight class. The CK1500 had a 5.7 liter V8 with 185 horsepower, 295 pounds of torque, MSRP'd for 13,000. It was the very first Chevy truck to allow you to switch from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive in the truck while you drove. There were three trim models referred to as the Cheyenne, the Scottsdale, and the Silverado. It was 1999 that the Chevrolet Silverado became a line of trucks as the 1500. It came with a 5.3 liter V8, 270 horsepower, and sold for $32,000. In 2002, Chevy introduced the Avalanche, which had the Chevy long wheelbase chassis and it was a four-door luxury truck. 2003, they brought about the Chevy SSR, which is a 5.3 liter Vortec 5300 V8 muscle truck giving off 300 horsepower. There was also a 390 horsepower LS2 V8. In 2004, Chevy introduced the Colorado to replace the S10. It came with a 171 cubic inch 2.8 liter inline four. 2007, there was a major redesign of the Silverado 1500. Also that year, it was voted North America's Truck of the Year. It was redesigned with a 5.3 liter V8 giving off 315 horsepower. And even to this day, the Chevy truck continues to evolve and be the truck of choice for many Americans, both as a personal vehicle and a work vehicle. So we'll continue to watch the evolution of the Chevy truck.